In this video, I will present the options uh, you have in PLSNX Engineer to adapt uh, your PLSNX Engineer according to your needs. So to open them, you go into Extras and Options. First, you have uh, International Settings and here you can switch your languages between English and German. In order to activate your language, so if you uh, switch to German here, for example, you have to restart the PLC Next Engineer to activate your new language. Here in Tools, you can uh, enable autosave and also set the interval in minutes after your project is supposed to be saved. And uh, yeah, the default value is 10 minutes. Next, yeah, here you can set your directories in which uh, yeah, your projects, your user libraries and your binaries are supposed to be saved. And yeah, you can also reset them to the defaults. Next is recycle bin. Here uh, you can disable uh, your re recycle bin. As a default setting, the recycle bin is activated. So if you choose an object here in, in the plant section or in the component section and delete it, is uh, moved to the recycle bin. And uh, from there you could delete it completely. But if you disable the recycle bin, uh, it will be deleted completely right away. Next, we got text editor settings. So uh, here you can set the word wrap. And that means that um, it would break long words and wrap them onto the next line. You can also activate line numbers and to view the white spaces between yeah, words or variables. Yeah, further settings for the text editor, tab settings. You can switch between none, block or smart and also set your tab size. Default value is four. Um, yeah, you can also add your company name and your company logo to your printout. Um, so if you want to print uh, your project's code, you could add the company name and the company logo to your printout. And you can also, if it's a large code or a smaller code and yeah, you want to print it, you can also set the printing scale range. Here we have settings for uh, the online values and you could um, yeah, change the maximum number of decimal digits here for your uh, real variables and your long real variables. And you can also change how your Boolean variables are displayed. So you could either choose to display them as an LED or textual uh, like it's uh, standard. The first option in the IEC compiler settings is allow extended identifiers. Identifiers in general are variable names or instance names and the standards IEC 611313 identifiers do not allow using special characters or to begin and end identifier with numerical characters. So this option extends the use of possible characters in the identifier, but uh, be careful because this option is mandatory for projects that contain extended identifiers and are used in a different instance um, of the PLC Next Engineer. The second option is the use of dynamic arrays for the SFC info. SFC stands for sequential function chart and it defines uh, if the size of arrays in structures is static or dynamic at the outputs. The last option is allowed to write onto an input variable. This option is used to ensure the compatibility of PCWORK 6 projects because the IEC 611313 normally doesn't allow to write onto an input parameter uh, with functions and function blocks anymore or within functions and function blocks anymore. But in PCWork 6, this is possible. So by selecting this option, it makes it possible again.
Um, yeah, next we got some HMI editor settings for the page, uh, for your um, yeah, HMI page editor and your symbol editor, like showing the grid and s changing the cell size, for example. Um, yeah, here in the administration setting uh, section, you can you can save your certificates in the device uh, communication um, area. You can change, you can uh, save your own specific device certificates, and here in the uh, code signing area, you can um, save the trusted root certificates and intermediate certificates. Additionally, it has to be mentioned that Phoenix Contact's own certificates are a part of the standard installation and are not listed here separately. When you log into your controller, you always have to uh, type in your username and your password. And in that process, you can choose to store your password on the PLC Next controller. And if that is stored, you can delete it with this button. This extension, Aspect Hierarchies, uh, refers to the automation modules that are currently under development. But uh, by enabling this, it, is, um, it already enables the view of the instances regarding the function, the reference, or the location. Um, yeah, you can also enable unlimited sizes for newly created worksheets here with this, if you mark this checkbox. And last but not least, you can set uh, your password timeout uh, in minutes and the default value is 10.